Welcome to a new video! Today I'm going to showcase Shinobu Mythical in ACD. Since this game has some, let's say a bit wacky numbers, I'm not going to like, going to tell you exactly how much damage she does. We're just going to look at the upgrades and I'm going to say something about the upgrades. Uh, yeah, let's hop in. So first off, when we look at the inventory, yeah, I have a range buff, so the range is higher than it normally is, but I just say that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, the stats doesn't look good if you compare it to Madara, but she has a dot which makes her kind of better than Madara. If you are confused why she is mythical, in this game you can uh, ascend units. When we go this way, we have this gate here and we have unit ascension. So you can basically choose a non-mythical unit and sacrifice two mythics to make this non-mythical a mythic. So if you have dupes of like Madara, you can use them to make like something like Bob or Bulma Mythic, so their stats increase up to a level with the other Mythicals, yeah. Alright, let's go into Infinite. We don't have a testing place like uh, AWTD, so I need to farm money and I, yeah, as soon as I have a lot of money, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Alright, when we want to place her down, we have to pay 680 gold. So as you can see, she starts with a line AoE, but there is something special about it. If we place her down here, you're gonna see that she stops at her destination. So, we want to put her either on like last, place her like so the first unit is like far away, or you can just put her on farthest. So this way she hits multiple, but basically she stops her attack at her destination and everyone that is like in between her and her destination is also getting hit. So in this game we have two upgrade paths. So I'm first gonna cover the top path. The first upgrade gives 50 more poison damage. When we look at her poison damage, she has 72 damage and if he hits an enemy it's basically 50% of the damage here will take 8 times on the enemy. So if we upgrade this, it's basically her damage, but okay, no? Okay, good, we found a bug. So it's not, oh never mind, it's not increasing by 50 flat, since her damage is like the, the place down damage dot is 50% of her damage. And now we added 50 on top of that, it's a bit complicated math. So basically, she has now 75% of her damage shown here as a dot. So the next upgrade uh, increases damage, speed and range. This is absolute high value. So, yeah, she basically gets all three stats a boost. And uh, now the thing is, we can upgrade on both paths, two upgrades. And then we have to decide for which path we want to like finish. So on the bottom we get attack speed 25%. That's a massive boost in attack speed. And here also we get more damage and more range. It doesn't seem like she has like a lot of damage, but keep in mind the dot takes eight times. So it's still a lot of damage. Okay, so since we go to top half, it gets a new ability. Butterfly launches into the air before striking the enemy, dealing circle AoE damage. So basically, she will get a stat boost, but it mainly explains that she gets a new attack, aka AoE. So yeah, now she's a splash AoE. Got a small damage boost. So the next one, Fatal Poison, massively increased damage while also briefly slowing the enemy. So her attack, her attack now uh, slows enemies. And how much damage do we get? Around like 20 to 25 percent. Okay. But yeah, the slowest bit is, mm, I don't know, it's like 20 percent slow, something like that. And then we have the last upgrade on the top path. The new ability, butterfly dashes from the start of the track till the end. Okay, that's wrong. He doesn't go to the start, she goes to the end and you will see, basically and fix steady poison upon all enemies. It also gets a 100% damage buff, 
So we're at 562 damage. And the dot does 844. So the dot is now, as you can see on the top half, that's the pure damage half. Her dot now is, was it? what is this? It's like 150% from her initial damage. But yeah, you sadly can't see on which upgrade she exactly gets that. But now we have Dance of the Centipede. And for this, we're gonna make one X and activate it. She will go to the base, go through the whole lane, hitting everyone with a poison. Yeah. <laughs> so basically she does her damage to everyone on the map. Every, what was it, 60 seconds, which is pretty good. I'm also covering her first, by the way, because right now she is by far like one of the best starter units. If you get her on legendary, she's already good. Making her mythical, of course, makes her at the level of Madara and uh, maybe a little bit above. But yeah. So now we're just gonna go here. We know all the first four upgrades. It's like basically you will always upgrade on both uh, ways to upgrades. Now we have the bottom path. Kakushi Brigade Leader. New ability summons a member of Kakushi's Brigade to tend to an ally buffing their damage by 40% and speed by 20% for 10 seconds. So basically she can, if we upgrade this, she gets her, yeah, Kakushi guy, which gives her a boost. But the thing is, it's basically random who she boosts with this. Like if he plays down a few Zoros here, speed it up. Now he is boosted, so it's so she boosts one random guy with these things. I think if there's other units in the range, she prefers to give him, give it to others than herself. But she also can apply it to herself if she's yeah if there's nothing in range. The next upgrade basically is I think it's still a small stat upgrade. But she gets a second one, so she can boost two people in range with that up, with the buff. Yeah, as you can see, the buff is pretty. Uh, it's probably still bugged with numbers, but I just explain how it works. We won't look that like correctly at numbers, because in this game you have a lot of ways to like give your unit more damage, and I will explain that in a future video, of course. But first, we want to look at basically the best unit in the game right now. So the last upgrade is pretty expensive, but the reason is the Kakushi Brigade now uses special medication developed by Butterfly, which buffs damage by 60%, speed by 20%, and range. So yeah, that's basically why she's kind of like the best unit. She has damage on the top half, which is really good, and a slow, which also helps, and kind of like a nuke, with hitting everyone on the map. And we have on the bottom path a really good buff. So, if you upgrade this, you're gonna see, yeah, the, you don't need to look at the damage. But the point is, she has like a really good buff, which she can apply to two units. So, for example, if you wanna have like the Madara as a damage dealer, we place on the Madaras in her range. Oh, I'm gonna back one. So, she buffs these two Madaras, basically. She, st she still does her dot, which is pretty good. As you can see, it's like 75% of her damage on the bottom path, so the top path does way more dot damage. But the other good point about her is, in this game are enemies which are called shield enemies. And you maybe know them from anime adventures. You have to hit them like five times till the shield breaks, and then you can apply damage to them. So DOT or dot, whatever you want to call it, is really good against them, so that's also why Shinobu is a really good starting unit. Also, you can place down three of her. Maybe that gets changed because it makes it really OP. Since you can basically have one, or basically you can do this by having two damage half of her doing her ability while the other one is buffing them. But yeah, that's basically how Shinobu works, and uh, I'm gonna make all the showcases like that, so we won't say or look mainly at the damage numbers. We're just gonna talk about 
what does the upgrade do which path does what like so it's it's a bit easier to understand how like the co main gameplay feature of this game works and which units does what and i just say it's hard to make a tier list because every unit has some flaws has some advantages shinobu is the only unit that basically has nearly no flaws right now but maybe that gets changed who knows anyway thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye